computer. There we go. We're recording. Okay. So all I'm doing now is starting a screen share. So this is this is just getting Zoom running. Uh, we're gonna get get a screen share and go on out to MLSP. Uh, so there's really really nothing going on here. I'm just going to the MLSP login page and logging in to MLSP. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it is not invalid. Okay. And I'm using a new, uh, uh, I'm, us I'm using uh, something, I don't know what it's called, but it, it, it keeps track of passwords. And so MLSP always forces my second level of, uh, of, of verification. With that. Okay, let's go to Funnelizer. So we, so you know where to find Funnelizer. Mm -hmm. And all I'm doing now is just starting up Funnelizer. Launch Funnelizer. Okay, so if you don't have the high level of integrations done, this is where you're going to go to do them. And also... Uh, you're gonna you're gonna create this new little video. So up here in settings, under media, is where you're gonna upload your new little video that you're gonna create for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna just create a video that says, "Hi, I'm Carol, or I'm Deb. I'm so happy that you uh, you opted in. Your cheat sheet is on its way to you." Meanwhile, we're going to be planning to do a webinar on essential oils and we'll let you know, watch your email for a certain time or something like that. Whatever you're going to say, you're just going to load up a short little video and thank them. Okay, so that's all. Uh, so all we're going to do now, and so here we go. We're going to create a funnel. We'll enter the funnel name. In your case, we'll call it essential oils just for, for giggles. Okay. And, and the slug would be the same thing. Well, we'll call the slug the bridge. bridge. Okay. This, this is going to be our bridge video. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, create my funnel. Now, uh, let me see if he has, he doesn't, okay. They had these bridge video uh forms created so i'm just looking yeah. i'm just looking there simple bridge i saw it did you there. see no nope. where it go there right there <laughs> uh just have to page down a little bit wait a minute does that simple bridge page have a video i don't know no that's not the one we want I want the video bridge. Yeah, that's not the bridge page that I saw. Um, um, bridge page. Bridge. All right, it's already created. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's essential oils. Okay. Edit. Edit. <laughs> so. Now go down a couple. It wasn't very far down. There's a multi multi-step bridge page there yeah and then there was another one keep going down because it was the second one in there simple bridge page is that what you're looking for yeah does that one have a uh, that has a video on it okay fine that yeah, has... I think that's the one brian used too when he was showing us okay yeah okay um so let me, let me do that. Ah, come on. <laughs> Essential oils. 
edit, right. and it was, come on, it was three, three Don, simple bridge video, and is. I was viewing it. I have to use the template. Right. Okay. Did it do it? Are we using it? Yeah. Click it again. Well, yeah, I guess we're using it. So we're, oh, so let me come up. Sorry. You know what? This, this, this stupid, this thing's in the way. Okay. Save the page and edit. Gotcha. Okay. What? And save page. Yes. Save and edit. Okay. Congratulations, you're in. Uh, Got to get this out of the way. So now, so now there's a couple of things. One is is that there's this header up there. If you if or this logo, if you don't if you don't want that, you can get rid of it. And the way you get rid of these things is all over here. So the header, the logo, we can just click it and it's gone. Okay. okay. Yes. Now, whatever you're going to put in for text. You can change there, okay? Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. Yeah, that, yeah, because that's simple. That's all right. All right, so there's that. Then, come on. Get out of the way. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, Man, is, is, is this thing running slow or is it me? Might be slow. Uh, pardon me? Yeah. Might be oh. slow. So here, the video, how do you, oh, you click there, inside that box. You click the video and you're going to go ahead and upload. Your video is going to have already been uploaded. Actually, I have something called the bridge video here. I have something called who is Len, so I can just pop a video in there. Who now, is that video up on YouTube? Is that where you got it from? Well, I originally got it from YouTube, and then I loaded it in the media manager up in the post. Okay. Does it have to be in YouTube form, or can it be just from our Facebook page, or our, from our, uh, you know, like I, I, I don't know. I don't think you can put it in directly from Facebook, no. It's going to have to be from YouTube, or it's going to have to be, uh, it's going to have to be an MP4 video. The Facebook video. Okay. Are, yeah. Well, the ones that my movie magic make are MP4 video, so then, I then wouldn't have can, to go to YouTube. No, then you can bring it directly okay. in from there. Gotcha. Uh, now, the only difference is once it, uh, the reason I use YouTube all the time is because if you take your MP4 video, it's a, it's usually a huge file. And if you, um, uh, Load it up to YouTube. YouTube truncates the file. It becomes a much smaller file. Well, let me ask you that then for that, can you use the embedded code that we do like um, for our articles and such and LinkedIn, you know, we get that real long link so that it doesn't play on to someone else's video afterwards? You know what? I, 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 don't, <clears throat> I don't know if you can do that. I, I haven't tried it. All right. I'll play with it and I'll let you know. Okay, so so there's the bridge video, and what what he did with that is is that he set people up so that they could actually go book an appointment. So so you, again, you can you can do anything you want with the text here, and you can also do anything you want with this. If you want to get rid of it, you can get rid of it, or you can uh, just not use it. Or do either one of you have Calendly? Like if someone wanted to book an appointment, they could book one with you. How do you do that? Where is that at? Well, you do it by getting something called Calendly, C-A-L-E-N. So Calendly, uh, you, you have to download the app. It's free. Okay. And I have, 
I created an account. I have an account. So, and I actually don't know. I don't know what email address my calendar is under. <laughs> have right. that problem too. <laughs> so, so like you can have 15 minute meetings or 30 minute meetings. Uh, you can just set up. So, a 30 minute meeting link. I just copied the link for my 30 minute meeting link. And uh, if people go to that link, what they get is the ability to set up, pick a day, like tomorrow, pick a time, and set up a meeting. And then do you get, get that notification through your email, I would suppose? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so let's pretend you're going to do that. Let's go back to our editor here and say, book your appointment today. Right, which site is it asking me about leaving? Uh, uh, Candling. Yeah. So book your appointment today, and that's going to open up the actions. And the action. Huh? I'm just wondering, okay, for the book appointment, what did you hit over here on the right-hand side? You hit button? I, I, I clicked in the book in the field, book appointment today. Okay, and then it went down to the sidebar. And it opened this up. And then okay. I'm going to go, tell it to go to a URL. Right. Mm -hmm. And the URL is going to be my Calendly link. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me save changes. So, so now we have, we actually have a video. You're, you're free. We could change this and say, you know, whatever you want to say, but right. yeah. your, your, your right. free cheat sheet is on the way. And you can tell them in the little video that if they'd like to have a complimentary 30-minute uh, consultation with you about how to set up and run their business, uh, that they can click the link below. Mm -hmm. click the link yeah, down. I like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's sweet. So, so it takes them right over to uh, your Calendly link. Now, okay. okay. So that that's I mean basically everything. That's really everything we need. Uh, and let's just go ahead and publish the changes right now. And that's the end of what we're going to do with that one. And mm -hmm. you'll see how all this links together in a minute. Let's close the editor. Okay. Now. Now we're going to add a new page. Okay? okay. Right. Now this is going to be the opt-in page. Okay. And what do you want to use for an opt-in form? I like the one with the clouds on it in the, in the beach. This yeah, one? That's fine. Yeah, I like that one. That's pretty. Okay, let's use it. And... Let's save it and edit it. Now, when you get here, of course. I'll be right back, guys. You go ahead. Okay. Of course, you're going to edit all this stuff. Right. Okay. Right. Now, if you want more than the email, what you're going to do is click in the email field. Just click there. And right. then you open this up here, and you're going to edit form fields. Right. And edit form fields is add a new field. So we're going to select a uh, name, for example, add a field, select right. phone, add a field, and close. So now we have the fields added that we want. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Now, integrations. This is where we integrate it. So we're going to select an integration. The first one you're going to select is a Weber, and it doesn't have to be the first one. And then you're going to select what list you want it to go to. Are those are all the lists like what you have at a Weber. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you're going to select. You're going to have a list called essential oils, or right. whatever. So you're going to select the list you want it to go to. So I'm just going to select my MLSP list for this for the for the time being, and I'll be done with it now. Add new integration. Now we're going to select MLSP uh, and MLSP. Now, these are tags that you've previously created in MLSP. Mm -hmm. And if you don't understand tags and what to do with them, 
Uh, that's another topic that we could talk about. But Got I'm it. just going to select that one and okay. uh, tell it to refresh the integrations. Um, and we should be done. We should be done. You so, don't have to put an select an integration point? Yeah. Wait, my lead system pro. Oh, okay. All right, there it is. There, the, 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 these, these are these are the labels. These right. are the set of labels. Okay, Adam. All right. So now, now I have it integrated into the, the lead is going to go into MLSP and it's going to go into A Weber. Okay. And that's the list name in A Weber that it's going to go into. Okay. And that's the that is the um, label in MLSP that it's going to got. You you can create a label that says essential oils. Would I do that over there in the CRM first? Uh, yes. I, okay. I can show you that in a minute. Okay. So, so there's this thing. Now, here's where you tie it together. Select an action. Go to a funnel page. And the only funnel page available is going to be your bridge page. Okay. okay. So let's go save changes. So this now should pop these people into MLSP and into AWeber and send them to the bridge page. Okay? Okay. Let's publish changes. Close the editor. Now, okay. this is where we have to set the variation. There is yes, only that, one variation. I don't, that I don't understand. Okay. Well, this is, this is very simple. This okay. is, there, you only have one variation. So this is variation one. You're going to start the variation. You can have, like for example, we could create a different opt-in page with a different picture. And, and then it will ping pong. It will run one one time and one the next time. You don't have enough traffic to do that right now. So okay. let's just start the variation and then publish the funnel okay okay close the editor now uh can i interject a question real quick go ahead all right like you see all all these different funnels you have and it says they're all running um where are they running at well i mean in order for them to be used, don't you have to put them on your Facebook page or Twitter? Well, yeah. When I, when, I, when I get somebody, for example, who, uh, who, who I ask them, when I, I frequently send a, a message to somebody saying, hey, uh, you know, as a way to connect further, would you like a copy of my um, Healthy Wealthy Guide for Baby Boomers book? Right. And then I just... What I do is I just go gra grab their name and I drop them into this is my this is my baby boomers funnel. So I just drop them in here and it sends them a copy of my baby boomers book. Okay. And some of these funnels are out on my on my website. Some of the funnels haven't been used recently. I'm going to close some of these links. I mean, some of them like the, the Vision Workshop. I used that when we were running the Vision Workshop. Uh, in January, I haven't used it recently. Okay, here's the funnel we just created, essential oils. So right. let's test it. We're gonna get the URL. So, so there's, the, there's the URL. All right, well, hang on, do I want, is that what I want? I think so. There's a preview. Uh, you know, because I want the opt-in page first. I, I don't want the... Uh, this is this is the page I want. I want the URL for the opt-in page. Get the URL. So there's the opt-in page. Now you you can create a pretty link for this too. But there's my opt-in page. Uh, so paste and go. There's your funnel. And if I add a, if I add some information here and click let me in, it's gonna 
do that. And then it's going to take me over to my bridge page, which we loaded a video into before. Right. It isn't playing. Uh, right. I have to go back and look at that. Uh, okay. oh, there it is. There it is. I am. Uh. <laughs> and there's my book your appointment today. Mm -hmm. Takes me out to my Calendly link. Okay. 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 So there, there's the whole funnel. Yeah. Gotcha. Nice. Now the question you asked earlier. Uh, let's go, let me go back here. Uh, you set these in CRM, you set these, uh, tags. uh, prospect list up in CRM, grab just grab anybody's name, anybody, anybody, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Grab one and under labels, um, beep, beep, beep. oh, stop it. Maybe I have to hit the editor. Do I have to edit it? Yeah, I have to hit the, I have to edit. Okay, under labels, you click add edit labels. And if I wanted to create a label, uh, I just hit create new label. I'll call it essential oils. Shit, I think I just closed the page. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, that's where you do it. You do okay. It. Just, you just go there and create a new label, call it essential oils, give it a color, and then that label will show up as a label in uh, Funnelizer when you're assigning the... Uh, gotcha, where they go. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. yeah okay, so for our bridge page, could we name it um, essential oils bridge? Because you may make more than one bridge page. You want to be able to keep track of which one's where. Do you know what I mean? You, you can name it anything you want, but, but, but you don't have to worry about that because that bridge page is inside that essential oils funnel, so it's nowhere else. Any, oh, other, okay. any other bridge page you name is going to be inside the funnel that you put it in. Okay, so it'll be in another funnel, so it won't matter. Okay, I got it. It's going to have a unique URL. Okay, okay. All right, got that. Okay. All I'm right. Stop, I'm going to stop the recording.